here's what I always do, man. We obviously love this Big and J. We've been using it for the last several years and just truly have found that it truly attracts bucks and it seems that the bucks really love it. It's got a lot of protein in it and it's just got everything sweet that the deer like. They love it. The only negative or drawback, most of the time if you put a bag of this out, you know, they'll eat it in one night. So obviously it makes it really tough. And so 99% of the people across the country are using corn. So obviously corn is a great attractant that it works. So what we always do is try to put just one bag of corn. I'm just gonna put one bag of corn. Everybody on the club's gonna have that corn out. And then I'll take a block. And I'll take one bag of this Big and J. And mix it in. It just smells so good. Nothing fancy. Just kind of make your corn super powered a little bit. And then I like to put one bag of this Deadly Dust. So now, you got something to help it last a little long time? And in this situation, I'm gonna put me a bush nail on that tree right there, that little, little pecan tree with all that poison oak on it, unfortunately. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have enough to get some good pictures. And another thing I'll do is I always like to put out one of these blocks. It pretty much is just big and J, but what's good about this, the deer really have to work on it to get it ate up. So, once they eat up all the little stuff, they gotta keep coming back. Keep coming back and working on that. So that right there is my favorite to hunt over where legal. And it's also my favorite if I'm just trying to get some trail cam pictures of deer. That's my favorite setup. One bag of corn, one bag of Big and J Deadly Dust in the block. Tell you.